Hi, folks. My name is Jake Williams. You may know me from such greatest hits as Guy Gets Outed by Russians. Uh, let's see. Uh, oops, we got breached and Jake showed up to investigate. Uh, and hey, maybe we have a threat actor in the network. Let's call someone in. No, seriously, uh, I'm a senior SANS instructor and course author, and I'm helping SANS out with their second annual Cyber Solutions Fest. I had a chance to do this last year uh, in the first annual SANS Cyber Solutions Fest. It was a great time. Uh, we had a lot of folks uh, together here, both from the SANS community as well as from the sponsor community. Um, and I think it's probably worth mentioning why this event is different. And, and part of it comes down to who we're bringing on from a sponsor and, and vendor standpoint. It's not just a matter of come here and as a vendor and say, hey, I'm, I'm here, take my money, right? I mean, I'm sure there's some of that, but let's be real. At the end of the day, your time is very valuable, so is mine. Uh, the only reason that you're gonna come to one of these and certainly the only reason you'd ever come back to one of these um, is when we offer uh, actionable suggestions, actionable solutions, stuff that you can take away back to your organization and solve problems. And, and if we're not offering that, if it's just a bunch of vendor fluff, hey man, we failed. Um, and uh, I wouldn't expect to see it back for the third annual uh, SANS Cyber Solution Fest. The reality is that last year, uh, you know, this knocked it out of the park, right? We got a lot of great feedback uh, from a lot of folks uh, basically saying, hey, wasn't aware that this was even necessarily a product class. I I'm not going to talk about like a, a magic upper right portion of a quadrangle or I don't even know, maybe it's some arc tangent of, anyway, like sometimes there's not even a, a set of triangles to put a dot in, right? Or, you know, I think we all know what I'm saying here, that I'm saying it, right? Um, and, and the reality is that, you know, this is where you learn about stuff like that, innovative solutions uh, for real world problems. Now, what's my part in this, right? Well, I'm actually gonna be hosting the threat hunting, uh, threat hunting level, or excuse me, level, threat hunting. I think we're playing the, the video game kind of kind of piece here. I personally would prefer a first person shooter and, and uh, okay, but whatever. Hey, bottom line, we're doing level threat hunting. And, and so why threat hunting? Look guys, let's be real. So why threat hunting? Let's be real. At the end of the day, I would love to always keep a threat actor out of the network. That ain't going to happen. Um, there are apex predators that are sitting on the other side of the keyboard that are coming to target you. I know this because I used to be one of them, right? Um, and, and let's, uh, you know, again, just, just to call a spade a spade uh, from a protection standpoint, yeah, th these folks absolutely, um, you know, are testing their tools and their techniques against your endpoint protection suites. They generally know when they can get in undetected, right? Now that's on the initial getting in. That's the lateral movement. That's the, again, generally these threat actors aren't doing stuff that's gonna get them, get them caught by real time detection, but that's where threat hunting comes in. And threat hunting is us assuming compromise, right? Now I'm not saying endpoint protection's dead. You're not gonna hear me say that, right? Cause that's, that's ridiculous, right? We definitely need endpoint protection. We also need to complement it with uh, endpoint protection with some level of, of detection. You've probably heard the old adage, if you build a 30 foot wall, you're creating a, a market for 35 foot ladders. I, I subscribe to that belief, right? Um, now I get that 35 foot ladder and I, I see that threat actor crossing the 30 foot wall. I better have some kind of detection there. I better have a camera. I better have uh, something to detect them coming over, maybe even digging under the wall, right? There's probably more to it than that as well, though, right? It can't be that easy. And, and that's really where threat intelligence comes in. I got to know what types of things are threat actors doing and how will I detect that? And, and then I got to think about how am I going to do it at scale? I mean, look, I, I, I taught at SANS for years. I uh, taught elsewhere before that, all right? Um, you know, I, I can train somebody pretty quickly, anybody who's reasonably cybersecurity competent, uh, to, to go run some live response commands on a system and start to hunt on that system, right? Of course, I got to have threat intelligence to do it. I know some of the techniques and understand what, what they should be looking for. Uh, do it at once. I don't want to call that easy because it, it's not necessarily easy, but it certainly is, is doable, right? The intractable problems come when I say, now do that across 500,000 machines. Do that across 50,000 machines. Or here's an idea, even 550 machines. Pick a number here, right? This is just the reality that, that we have to really step back and, and, and think about how do we scale out 
these processes that we may have been performing manually before. Likewise, I'll tell you that a lot of threat hunting today is not necessarily the best threat hunting. It's not the best way to go process um, some type of, uh, you know, basically some type of threat hunt. We're limiting ourselves based on, well, what we already have collection for, we already have telemetry for. And so this is another spot that we'll talk a little bit about during the, uh, during the Solutions Fest the Cybersecurity Solutions Fest in the uh, level threat hunting track, is how to get better visibility, right? And, and now that we have better visibility, now we have different data points that we can hunt against, that's going to make a larger portion or a larger number of our indicators actionable. And so that's what you can expect from this, uh, basically from this event. I'm going to tell you again, did this last year, I was blown away by the quality of the, uh, by the, quality of the vendors. Uh, and again, the solutions that they brought to the table. And again, you know, just to note here, this is not one of these like, hey, show up and chat with some vendors and here's a sales pitch. I'm gonna tell you that every presentation, every presentation that we go through here, um, I'm, I'm vetting it before it goes out, right? I'm vetting it before you watch it, right? Well, I'm not vetting the entire recording, but I'm vetting the slides, right? We're walking through and saying, hey, um, the one thing I promise you is you will not get 10 vendors who all show up and say, here's my 20 minute slide deck on what a threat hunt is. I, I tell them all, like, you know why you're here. You're here for threat hunting, right? All your attendees are here for threat hunting. You can take all that content at the beginning that says, here's what a threat hunt is. And here's why you need a threat hunt. And I'm like, man, if it's generic, take it out. Yeet it into the sun because our attendees are not here for that. Do not waste their time. What they're here for is to understand how you contribute to their mission of threat hunting, period. What solutions are you bringing? What novel problems have you identified, right? Now, we've had a lot of vendors come in and do that, which is mind-blowing. I love it when somebody comes in and says, hey, here's this novel problem. I'm like, ooh, that is novel, right? And then they say, oh, by the way, we solved that. I love those, right? Because in, in one fell swoop, we had a couple of those last year, again, blown away. In one fell swoop, they're illuminating this issue that I, I didn't know existed or, or didn't understand the implications of said issue. And then they're saying, oh yeah, but don't worry, I've got it covered, right? Here's the solution. I love those, right? It's so much better than the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that I see so often from vendors. Anyway, folks, I, I got to wrap this up, but I'm going to tell you, I'm crazy excited about this because We've got a ton of stuff going on. Obviously, there's giveaways because, of course, there are giveaways. I'm being told that I'm supposed to tell you that there are sick prizes, but I'm not going to do that, right? What I will tell you is that uh, it's going to be a good time. Uh, there's always good drawings from, from our vendors, um, and, of course, it's free to attend. Uh, I think you may even get CPEs for it, believe it or not. Um, whether you get CPEs for it or not, uh, you, know, you, you truly can put on the superhero cape. Um, you know, after you come and learn about a solution uh, and ultimately uh, well, potentially deploy that solution in your environment. So anyway, folks, looking forward to seeing you. Uh, the date, of course, is Thursday, October 21st, 2021. I'll be there. I hope to see you there. Um, and uh, it's going to be a great day. Uh, peace out.